right y'all so it is maiden voyage day 91 inch laser da 70 twin uh da 70 twin on a day header mtw 110h can the rear exit falcon 24 by 9 uh, mks 777 a pluses on all the control surfaces um, with more than enough throw on everything so it's a crisp 48 outside there's zero wind and let's see what she does i'm flying it on a spectrum 20 channel power safe and a dxh gen 2 so let's give it seven minutes and see how it does so remember i've started this once um, at the house and ran it up a, a couple of times um, and then right before I started the video it took three flips on choke um, and I realized I had forgotten the camera on so three flips on choke two flips with choke off this is uh, this is factory settings out of the box I have not touched a single thing on the needles let it warm up a little bit it is very very rich I'll give it that I'm gonna fly this in low rates. Hardly any coupling. Awesome. It's so smooth, y'all, it tracks so straight. So I guess now would be a good time to tell y'all because um, I know some people are like, oh my gosh, you didn't even let it warm up. You just kind of took off. Uh, my stupid self did an entire eight minute flight on this um, with my wife's GoPro on camera mode, not on video. So this is actually flight number two. Um, flight number one was very uneventful. Uh, it trimmed right out and flew beautifully. Um, seven minutes came down at like half a tank, a little less than half, which was uh, kind of surprising, honestly, because I'm very used to flying a DA35 on a, I guess, medium size extreme flight tank um, and getting like 25 minutes of flight time. So that was kind of weird, but uh, it is also a twin, so that's going to take some getting used to. But I got to say, y'all, I'm talking to y'all normal and it is so quiet. It's a wide open pass right now. Now granted, remember it is still very, very rich, so I'm sure it's gonna get a little louder. Um, so anyway, the, the break-in process I'm going to use is uh, from DA. I spoke with them a pretty good bit and they no longer recommend the whole lawn boy break-in and all that stuff. Um, they suggest good old red line 40 to 1 uh, and they suggest doing two to three gallons of believe it or not a bunch of hammerheads um, which definitely gets boring so they said you can mix it up and do some you know light sport style flying which uh, I'm a fan of anyway but load it up out the throttle and this thing pivots so beautifully and I, I'm wiggling the tail a little bit on accident but they just suggest load the motor up and then look at that stall and then clear it out and you can hear it definitely gets a lot better after a few of them so like I said this is my second flight on it uh, first one was great um, I needed a couple clicks of trim to adjust but it was uh, flying beautifully so I'm happy with the way I built it I'm happy with the way it's performing 
and I can't wait for this motor to break in. And like I said, I am flying this on low rates for me. Um, the high rates with just as much as I could get was pretty ridiculous, I gotta say. Uh, this thing, the control throws are just, I mean the surfaces are just massive. So I mean control throw is a ton. But right now I'm just flying it in all orientations just to kind of check and make sure I don't have any weird tuning spots on the motor. Uh, Let's get a CG check. 45, roll it over. And it's a little nose heavy. Um, so I have this one set up with the rudder servo in the tail. Um, and two 2550 LiPos set pretty far back. So 45, roll it. It's pretty perfect, honestly. I mean, it, it holds it for a good ways. Maybe I had the wind pushing me a little bit, so full 45 and it holds it for a good long time um, so I'm happy with that so uh, the 2550s are set up on the back of the tray right over where the pull pull servo would have mounted for the rudder um, and the string test on the wing tube showed that it was going to be a little nose heavy so it's actually uh it's responding right where it says it should so i would say that ef was perfectly spot on with saying to balance it on the wing tube um, <clears throat> so i gotta say i am so thrilled with this plane the covering is uh the paint the printed covering excuse me which i gotta say is super super thick uh, I didn't have any wrinkles or anything but what I did have issues with is finding the right settings on my iron um, to trim out like the canister tunnel um, whenever I cut it and try to seal the edges it didn't really want to seal back down um, so I have a few spots that are loose uh, but other than that, the covering looks awesome. That big old rudder. Doing my hammerheads both directions. So I don't end up like my rolling harriers where I can only do them one way. seven minutes so I have it idled up um, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use the whole runway just because it's a new plane eventually I'll set up flapper um, but not until the motors tuned out will I try and drop it in short pretty good landing we have some little drainage ditches right there in the middle um, that can make things kind of squirrely I hope y'all kind of enjoyed my super boring second ever flight, but I'll pull it up and let it idle so y'all can see how quiet it is. So that's it idle. It's super smooth. Um, I got a little flutter on the wings, but it's still new and it's still plenty rich. Uh, so throttle cut, ignition off. Hope y'all enjoyed it.